Hello friends, how are you? Um, I hope you're fine. This is Habiba and um, I'm here to talk to you about science. We've been talking about um, science, we've been talking about animals, domestic and wild. We are continuing with the animal life, all right? Uh, the other time we were talking about uses of domestic animals. How are they useful and why do would people keep them? Are they keeping them for fun, for nothing? Or do we just find ourselves keeping them? We looked at the reasons why people would keep wild, uh, sorry, domestic animals, and I left you with some work. I want us to see, is my work telling? Is my, uh, are my answers telling with yours? All right, question number one was, which animal gives us pork? Yes, which animal gives us pork? It is only one animal that gives us pork. Yes, we keep animals for their meat, but the animal that gives us pork is only one, and that is the pig. I hope you have pig as your answer. Uh, number two was, why do farmers keep cows? Why do, they, why do your grandfathers, your grandparents keep cows? Why do your parents keep cows? Yes, we said to, to get meat, milk, hides. Hides, I say that's the skin, but for a cow, a cow is big. That's why we say it's hide. For small animals, that's what we call the skin. But for big animals, it's uh, high. The hooves, those ones. The horns. Someone is asking, why would they keep horns? Why would they keep cows for horns? Uh, those horns are used to make buttons. Yes. Buttons and ornaments and earrings, so many. Manure, the cow droppings. The farmers will collect the cow droppings and then process them for manure. And even talked about biogas. You can visit the previous video. You'll see biogas and manure. The manure, of course, will make the, the soil fertile and will make the yields much better. Number three, give one product got from sheep. What do we get from sheep? We said mutton, that is the meat for the sheep, and the wool. From the wool, we can be able to get clothes. We can make clothes from the wool, we can make cut, uh, carpets, we can make blankets, so many things. Uh, well, I asked you to name the animal that guards our home. Some of you have those that animal. Is it the cat? Cat that meow meow really guard our home? No, it is the dog. I hope you have the same answers as mine. Well, today, we're still looking at animals, but we are looking at wild animals. They are also useful, by the way. So we're going to look at the uses of wild animals and how dangerous those animals can be. Not only the wild animals, but even the domestic ones. So I would like you to be thinking of the uses of wild animals. By the end of this lesson, I want you to be able to mention the uses of wild animals and also to list dangers, not only the uses, but even the dangers, how dangerous are they to, to man and even to the other things. And also you should be able to mention and even draw things got from animal skin. We say the skin is for the smaller animals and the hide is for the bigger animals. All right, uses of wild animals. How useful are wild animals to man? So I say, ha, how can a lion be useful to man? Sure. Hmm. How can a hippo be useful to man? It can't be. How can a snake be useful to man? Yes. I want you to be thinking, are they useful? Do you think they're useful? Or they, are, they have no reason as to why they should even exist. Mm -hmm. I hope you have the answer. How are they useful? How are they useful? All right. Ah, uses of wild animals. Well, the first use is some wild animals give us meat. Yes, we eat bush meat. Yes, there's a certain place I know that's, that sells bush meat. Yes, do you see that? Ooh, these ones, these ones have, have, a name. They can be hunters. Maybe they went and started looking for those animals. They ran after them and get them for their meat. With permission, maybe. 
or they can be these people who go in the game parks, in the game reserves, in the zoo, and kill these animals without permission. And those ones have a name also. Those ones are called poachers. So, they might be hunters or poachers. You see, they went, hunted these animals for their meat. They're going to eat it. So, some other animals give us meat. All right? Let's see another reason. Some, some animals give us hides. We say the hides are for bigger animals and the skin are for uh, small animals. Give us hides like zebra. Actually, I saw someone putting on a cloth that looks like a zebra, a zebra hide. Crocodile skin. Oh, I already see those people putting on belts made out of crocodile skin. And some of you, some of, some other people put on shoes that are made out of crocodile skin. So these animals give us skin. And we later transform the skin into different things. I had the leopard skin. Have you ever seen? People like to put on these clothes that are having this kind of design and say, I'm putting on animal print. They call it animal print. Hey, I already see those people. The zebra skin. This one, I already see it when people make carpets out of them. Yeah, they somehow look nice when they make carpets out of them. All right, let's see another reason. Why the animal attract tourists? Yes. There is some, um, was it last year? People paid for, for, for a trip to the wildlife center that is Entebbe Zoo. You went there basically to see animals, different animals. If you keep home, you won't be able to find how to, to know how a, a leopard looks like, how a, a hippo looks like. So those animals will attract. And when they attract tourists, they don't just come empty handed. You pay to see them. And then at the end of it all, the wildlife um, uh, wildlife center will get some money and even the government. All right, uh, they, are so, they are used for study purpose, you see. Now we're talking about them. We're studying about them. And even this one, you see this one is talking about? The chicken, this one, the chicken. This one looking at, what is this? What's this? Uh -huh. This one is looking at this animal that gives us pork. I don't know which animal this is. Uh, this one is trying to cuddle, trying to cuddle a baby. That has to be a goat, a baby goat. It's cuddling. So they are just using them for study purpose. They are learning about them. So wild animals also help us to know about them. We are learning about them. So that way they are useful. Uh -huh. There's, we say someone, uh, uh, those wild animals give us meat. We said about them. Um, they give us hides and skin. Ah, so I want us to see those, the hides and skin. Why would we even go and get uh, hides and skin from those animals? It's because we were looking up for some things which are going to make out of those animal skin and hides. So from them, we can make the shoes. Let me tell you, when you go to the shop or to the, to the market and you like to buy a shoe, you will like a durable one, the one that can last longer. And you know what? The leather shoes last longer. And always, most of us will go, I want that leather one. You wouldn't like to go for a plastic one. Like, I want that leather one. Okay? Those leather shoes, you see how beautiful they are? They're made out of the skin. And the drum. Yes, those people, the, the people from the dance troops use the drums for, 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 for communication and even for, you know, for enjoyment. Those drums are made out of the animal skin. There's so many things. The belts, mm -hmm. your parents have belts. You also have some belts. Check them out. They're made out of the animal skin. On the carpet, that's carpet, the soft, the comfy one. You touch it, you feel like sleeping there. It's so comfy. It's made out of animal skin. Some are made out of actually uh, wool from the sheep. The bugs, of course, I told you. Things made out of animal skin are more durable compared to those ones that are made out of clothes. Okay? So, you see, even... Even the, um, the, the, the jacket, if someone is making a jacket, this is the one I was talking about. If someone sees you, you'll be, like, you'll be boasting, like, I'm putting on the animal print. 
okay? Simply because it's coming from the animal skin. This jacket is so comfy. You feel like, oh, yes, it's so cool. And when you put it on, you feel, you feel nice. Yes, wild animals are very, very, very useful. But hey, they can be dangerous. Hey, they can be so dangerous. I want us to see. Think about them. Can you even mention how dangerous they are? Be thinking. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's see. Some animals can bite us. Hmm, you dare enter in an animal in a, in a zoo. Okay? And you go close to that animal that lives in a den. Oh my goodness. It can bite you. All right? Some animals destroy plants. Recently on news, I saw um, a group of elephants went and encroached on the farmer's land and they ate almost everything. So they destroyed. See caterpillars? So actually, they were almost everywhere on news. The caterpillars could eat all the plantation of people's uh, food. All right? Some animal carry vectors. You say, we say, you remember when you were talking about vectors sometime, we say the vectors. The vectors, for them, they carry disease germs. So these animals can decide to carry them. And one of the vectors are lice. So you are an animal, OK? You decide, you, you sometimes carry them, and then you get some diseases. Ew, look at the other one. See? These ones are all carried by people and they spray and they call, they say, sorry, they, these ones carry germs. These are vectors. All oh, these ones are vectors. So the vectors carry germs. And these vectors are also being helped by the animals. Ah, and they destroy property. Like you said, you see the, ant, the, the ants will come, eat up the entire tree, can even go and spoil the entire house. The termites, oh my goodness. So they can be dangerous. The rats can actually go and eat up all the food in the store. Some of you have rats at home. If you don't cover up, up your food very well, they can eat up. Before you know it, all your rice has been eaten. So we've talked about uses of domestic, sorry, wild animals, dangers, and some things got out of animal skin. So um, you're going to do for me this simple exercise, and I believe you can do it very well. I thank you so much. Till we meet again, stay safe, be good children, be helpful. I love you.